Hi everyone, it's Nicole here from the Inclusive Class, and this is a bit of a do-over because I forgot to save the last uh, video that I did of this, and I would really like to share it with everybody on uh, who follows me on Facebook and um, on my website. And anyway, so I am here to show you how to modify schoolwork to include children who may not be working at your grade level in the classroom that you're teaching. And uh, so we're talking specifically about including kids who have special needs. And uh, inclusion is, is um, very important to, uh, to the classroom and making kids feel like they belong. So instead of giving a child who is working below grade level a um, different uh, sheet altogether, then you can give them the same sheet as the rest of the class. And hey, uh, Terry, good to see you. <laughs> um, you can give them the same sheet as the rest of the class, but have them do some alternate activities. And this saves you some time in terms of photocopying or you know, doing an entire new sheet altogether. So just wanna show you a few tips and tricks. So this is a, a math worksheet from a grade four class and if you have a child that's working perhaps at a grade one level or kindergarten level, this is something that is probably, they're not probably gonna be able to do on their own. So you can support their own learning needs by doing a couple of the following things. So for example, you can have them add up some numbers that you circle. You can write it over here on the side, one plus, two plus four equals, and then they can fill it in over there. Uh, another way to modify this sheet is to have them, say for example, if they're working on number identification, uh, number six, we'll say they're working on the number six that week, you will have them find and circle the number six. Uh, oh, look, there's another one, and they can go down the page and circle all the number sixes that they see. Another way to modify this paper is to um, order numbers. So if they're working on sequencing numbers, so you might wanna take, for example, this set of numbers here and have them order it from mm, smallest to largest. So, which is already pretty much done here. Three, four, five, oops, sorry, zero in the front. Zero, three, four, five, seven. And they can just write that over top. And finally, uh, back to number identification, if they see the number six, you can have them write it out. You can have them write out the actual word. You might even want to put a line there too and have them write out the word above the six. So, some pretty, um, Easy, quick, simple strategies to include those kitties of yours that are still uh, learning and uh, you still want them to be included and um, another way to modify some work. So for more tips and strategies, you can follow me at theinclusiveclass.com. There we are there. And uh, yep, yeah, that would be great tricks too for parents to use as well to uh, use at home if they've got like worksheets or from school or even if they pull anything off the computer, easy to modify. Thanks for that uh, tip too, Terry. Anyway, so at theinclusiveclass.com, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook and I'm also on Pinterest. And um, you can also find podcasts there that I do with Terry Morrow who is a writer uh, for special needs parenting at about.com. And uh, hope you enjoyed this. Tune in for more. Thanks. Goodbye, everybody.